So, um, okay, so the, the heart of the matter here is we have the Four of Coins, which is clinging on tight to your resources or clinging on tight to resources, financial resources, financial windfall, or clinging on tight to a situation. It can be a romantic partner. It can be a work situation. It can be something that brings you a lot of emotional security that you're not yet ready to let go of, okay? What's crossing you here is the Knight of Swords. Okay, so let me just pull the other cards out and then we can start talking about them. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that um, for a lot of you, um, you might be linked up with a fire sign, okay? This is a um, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. And I do feel that... Um, this person, it can be male or female, um, there's also an element of a motherhood figure, a mother figure coming into the foray, mainly because we have the Queen of Wands. So Queen of Wands is, is like a, a female fire sign that is associated with, you know, mainly the home, the domain, and ruling the domain. So this is somebody that is potentially playing out as a, a mother figure. We also have the Knight of Swords, which is... Um, somebody that is a an air sign okay so what's crossing it here is you're not sure about whether or not you should um, release or keep this person in your life we have the nine of swords is this somebody that is um that can be very um they're they're aggressive i i would say they're aggressive but they're not pushy they're very demanding they know what they want and they don't really settle for you know um I guess like riffraff. So it's basically somebody who is very, very self-assured, who would not settle for, for things and who wants like answers from other people, all right? And as a crossing energy to your main card, I would say this is somebody that you're going to deal with extensively. And you might be somewhat emotionally invested in this person, but for some reason there is an element here that um, you're not really sure if you can move forward with this air sign, it's um, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra in your midst, okay? So in terms of your past situation, we have the Three of Cups, which indicates to me there might be two partners or two people or, you know, two um, projects or even like two circumstances that you're thinking about moving forward with. And um, you have basically finalized the options and you've narrowed it down to one, which indicates to me that a lot of you might be proceeding um, with like both of them because I still see like there's an element of sword energy and fire energy coming into the, the picture. So for the July reading, a lot of you were dealing with like a, an air sign and a, an earth sign, okay? Um, and in this situation, in this instance, I'm getting here, there's an air element and there's a fire element. So we'll see this situation. We'll see how it plays out. In terms of what's coming in for you is the Ten of Coins, which is like total um, financial abundance. At the same time, in the traditional tarot, um, the Rider Waite tarot deck, the Ten of Wands indicates to me a property. So a lot of you, there is a concern regarding... I do feel at this point money is physically is not a main concern of yours, but there is an estate, there is a property that you're debating about, and you're not really ready to let this property go. But there are people external to you, possibly with an air sign, who is pushing for more from you, all right? In terms of what's crowning you here, we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse position. So a lot of you might have had like um, a history with this air sign in which there might have been like um, somebody one or the other either you or the air sign walking out of the situation either that or somebody else is kind of like um, for some reason this situation itself ended in a pretty like bad um, it could be a betrayal it could be one person walking out on another without like fanfare just um there were there was some element of bad blood but there's also an element of past history with potentially this air sign and as for what's in your environment that you're not aware of we have the queen of wands which i mentioned earlier it could be a mother figure it could also be like a 
a very spirited person. Um, the queen indicates like a very um, strong, a very strong feminine figure. It could also be like the card of the mother in general, okay? So there is an element here that somebody that is um, nurturing you. So it could be the air sign that is providing you the basis for you to grow, that is providing, you know, the sunlight, the water, the nutritional intake in order for you to thrive. It's somebody that is very, very emotionally supportive, okay? As for your advice here, we have the Two of Swords, which is that um, in the traditional tarot, this is somebody who is kind of like blindfolded and who's holding two swords completely still because they are unable to make a decision. So in general, the advice here is that you actually don't have all the information that you need at your disposal at the present moment in order to make a clear decision just yet, okay? So there is an element here of forcing you to wait, but at the same time waiting for information to come to light, waiting from I guess like the actions of other people in order for you to make a decision. So there's an element here of waiting for, waiting around for a um, possibly a fire sign or an air sign. And uh, what's crossing you here is that I feel that the information is going to have to come from a fire sign in order to like um, provide the impetus and the momentum for you to move forward with whatever decision that you've you know set your heart and your mind on all right so as for the external environment i am just going to start shuffling here okay <clears throat> for your external environment i have the nine of wands which and also in the reverse position um i do feel that in order for you to get all the information you need, you are going to have to be very patient because another party from your external environment, it can be in any type of an interpersonal relationship, they are going to come in and they are going to reveal to you exactly all the information you need so that you can make a clear assessment of your current situation with them, okay? So the Nine of Wands in the traditional tarot is... Um, somebody who is very guarded, somebody who's taking a step back to reassess the situation so that they can decide how they want to proceed, if they want to like re-engage in conflict or if they want to back out of it altogether. So what I'm getting with this card is like somebody's guard is being um, put down. So they're coming to you, they're presenting all the inf the facts, all the information, and they're like laying their feelings, their heart on the line, and then you can move ahead with um, you know whatever decision that you have for them. So what I'm getting here is um, you're getting very very truthful information. So regardless of whoever it is that you're dealing with. Um, it can be fire sign, it could be an air sign, it could be man or woman, and it could be whoever's in your external environment. I do feel that somebody is coming through with like communication and um, they're laying it all on the line. They're wearing their heart on their, their sleeves and they're very, very honest. You're dealing with very, very honest signs here. Air signs are extremely straightforward, okay? You can take them at face value. At the same time, the fire sign is also in the upright position. Um, it might not play out as a fire sign, but what I'm getting is this is somebody that is very, very nurturing to you. They provide you with like financial abundance. They provide you with a very loving, a very supportive environment so that you can thrive, okay? So needless to say, Whoever it is that is in your life, there is a contact or communication coming through from them to you and they are putting it all out there for you to assess. So they're being very honest with you. In terms of your hopes and fears here, we do have the tower in the reverse position. There is hesitancy on your end and um, I just want to emphasize this. A lot of you are not going to be... Um, willing to show your cards despite this other person showing um, you theirs, okay? Mainly because we have the four coins here as your um, the heart of the matter. This is the situation that you're grappling with. And um, you know, Scorpio is a very, very secretive sign. 
and you don't like to like wear your heart on your sleeve you don't like other people to have like um uh, uh i guess like um a one up on you and you don't want other people to have a leg up in your social interactions so a lot of scorpios tend to be very very secretive and you know there's nothing wrong with that except for this week i would honestly t um advise you put your guard down because the other people are wearing their heart on their sleeves they don't they really care about you so so they're pretty much laying it out all out on the table for you to reassess whether or not like you care about them first of all or secondly whether or not um you want to proceed with them in any type of an endeavor either like a work partnership or a romantic partnership or even like if you want to include them in your life okay so the only thing here is um in your hopes and fears you are afraid that it's um you feel very uncomfortable about disclosing your deepest darkest fears you feel real, really uncomfortable and vulnerable when you have to like reveal how you feel about the other person so a lot of you might not be able to do it and what i'm getting as the outcome here is the ace of cups so this declaration if it's like a declaration of love if it's like a an intention that the other person just pretty much thrust upon you without your consent you feel a little like baffled you feel a little taken back and honestly you feel a little like uh, shaken up okay and I do feel that um, for a lot of you too um, it could be potentially it's like um, the information the declaration is something that you hadn't anticipated in so I don't feel that you're going to know what it, how you want to behave, how you want to act, okay? Because we have the page of wands in the reverse position, which indicates to me like swift news. is news that, that are coming out of the blue, and it's news that you don't completely trust yet. This is the card of the boy who cried wolf. And um, I can assure you that the information is completely legitimate. I can assure you that the other person is in fact like uh, very honest and straightforward mainly because the people that you're interacting with are in the the upright position okay however there's an element here of like repression from your end and an element that um maybe whoever it is that is laying it all out there for you to see maybe it's like a declaration of love and you don't really feel the same way they do about you so you're kind of like taken aback and at the same time you're kind of questioning their motives if you are questioning their motives i do feel that um the suspicion is unfounded first of all so you really have to look within yourself to realize or to figure out why you are taken aback and whether or not you really trust this person to begin with okay it is going to play out differently depending on you know which type of Scorpio that you are so I would say that there's also an element here and I believe it was the monthly reading in which you are debating between an air sign and possibly an earth sign there is an earth sign also showing up in the reverse position so for a lot of you there might be a choice that needs to be made here between possibly an air sign possibly somebody who is very like um what you see is what you get somebody who's very like simple in the way that you know they either love you or they don't and they're very like um clear and straightforward about how they feel about you all right but there's a, also like another figure in the picture which would explain why the three of cups is in the reverse position here as your past position which is indicative of like gossip infidelity but it's also like um there's an element of a threesome type of energy involved in a love relationship which is not conducive for anything long term it can also be in a work partnership where you know you think that the relationship the work relationship is confined to two people but there's this other element unexpectedly in the picture so for those of you who are once again dealing with like air signs or even earth signs or marginally you're dealing with somebody who's very like honest who's very straightforward with you and who really wants you to to push you 
for, um, you know, like um, stability, for like longevity, even for like a family situation. So there's this element here. And I'm going to see, I'm going to pull out a few more cards. Well, two more. And, um, you know, ultimately the choice is up to you because we do have free will and our free will will trump everything else. But I would say really figure out what it is that you want, who it is that you want to be with, what it is that you want to proceed forward with. Because I can assure you that the people in your midst are very honest and they're not going to wait around forever. So um, what this is indicative to me is um, I do feel for a lot of you too, you're holding on tight to your money because uh, with, with financial abundance, you don't know who to trust, okay? You don't know if people are sincere, which is fine. You know, this is uh, typical of a big financial windfall. At the same time, you have the two of wands, which is... Um, Whatever plan you had originally gone with, in light of this new information, I do feel that a lot of you are going to have to go back to the drawing board, okay? Take some time this week and figure out who is important to you, who has always been there for you, who you can trust, and then um, narrow down your options, narrow down your choices, because obviously um, this is going to play out, you know, differently for different Scorpios in general, but I do feel that you are going to have to, like, go back to your blueprint and go back to review your history with these other people and figure out what it is that you want to do. And in the process of reviewing it, you are going to be able to reach a conclusion that is specific to you, all right? I'm not going to say what, who it is you should proceed with. But I do feel a major decision is in order here. And you're going to have to do some, a little bit of soul searching, but also a little bit of sifting through facts and sifting through the past and see what it is that you want to do. All right. Um, a quick pointer here, the queen of coins, um, for those of you who might be um, somewhat linked in with an earth sign, is in the reverse position. So I do feel there is some t sense of like... Um, disillusionment, jadedness, and also mistrust associated with an earth sign. So it is up to you what you want to do, all right? But take some time off for this week and um, take some time for yourself and to reflect on this situation. I do wish that you can reach a very good um, resolution from this situation for this week.